the next insect we're going to make is a ladybug. So for a ladybug, we're going to start with a curved line towards the top of our paper. And it's going to curve just like that, kind of like an upside down smiley face. Almost like a rainbow. And then we're going to draw a line that curves in curves in towards the middle to get about halfway. Like that. And then we're going to draw another line that comes from this side and curves in towards the middle to get about halfway and touches. Just like that. Then we're going to draw a line that goes down and that's like the middle of the wings. And you can decide how long your ladybug's going to be because there are different types of this is um, a ladybug is a type of beetle so if you make it longer it'll be a different type of beetle. I'm going to make mine kind of like the normal um, ladybug we'd see every day. So a line down like that. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to draw a curved line that's going to come all the way down and touch here. So it's going to be kind of like the side of a circle. It's going to come all the way down and touch here. So it's going to start right here where these two meet and it's going to go all the way down and curve around until it touches. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Curves all the way around and around until it touches. And then because it's an insect, I know that it has six legs. So I'm going to draw a leg coming out here. It's going to angle up like this. It's going to have two lines that go just like that. And then its leg is going to come up like this. So we're going to draw two lines that come off of there. It's going to go up one, two. And then we're going to draw a little foot. Just a little kind of circle thing for a foot. Their, their feet aren't, aren't exact circles, but we can kind of represent it with a circle in this picture. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to do an angled line that goes up and up like that. And then I'm going to draw two lines that go up the other way. They're going to angle towards the head. And then I'll draw a little foot. And then the next set of legs I'm going to draw, they're going to come back a little bit. So I'm going to draw them so they come back a little bit. And for these lines, they're going to angle back towards the back end, two together like that. And then two more that come off of it that angle back. And then we'll draw the little circle for the foot. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Two that go kind of backwards and angle two that go down. And then a little circle. And we're going to do one more set because right now we have one, two, three, four legs and we need six to make it an insect. So we're going to draw two lines that go down this way and then we're going to draw two little lines that come off of it going down and then a little foot and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side two lines that angle down and then two lines that come off of it down and then a little foot so you should have an insect with one, two, three, four, five, six legs the next thing is um, our insect has an antenna on the front so right up here towards the top of his head we're going to do a little line that goes up and curves out to the side. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. It goes up and curves out to the side. And then our ladybug it has these things that looks kind of like it's its eyes but it's a really fake eyes to make things that want to hurt it think that those are his eyes. So there are these white shapes that look like eyeballs on the side. So they're going to curve like this. It's going to start at the top here and curve sideways to touch the side. See how they did that? Curve sideways to touch the side. And then the same thing on this side. Curve sideways to touch the side. And then it has a nice little design right in the middle here. And it's going to go like up, down, up, down, kind of like an M. And that's what its head's going to look like. 
and then you need to add your spots to your ladybug so you can decide whatever spots you want but remember whatever you do on one side you're going to do to the other side because a ladybug is symmetrical like you've been learning about a ladybug is symmetrical so anything you do to this wing do the same thing to this wing add those spots on and then color your ladybug and don't forget to add a habitat around it where does your ladybug live what does it need to eat good job